I occasionally get left comments that lead me to try some off the wall stuff. And today, I'm gonna tackle pulse lasers. What are they? How do you make one? And what's the benefit of using it? Let's go find out. To start off, what is a pulse laser? And to put it in the most simple terms, it's a laser that pulses as it shoots. And yeah, it sounds like nothing special, but it has the potential to massively increase your damage, while it consumes way less energy in the process. Or that's what my research has led me to believe. So, of course, I will take you through the steps to build the device, and afterwards, we'll even put it to work in the field and see just what it's capable of. Also, all of this was spurred on by this comment right here. There are a lot more things I still need to tackle that this person has recommended, but in my limited time, I think I can conquer pulse lasers this week. Now, to build a pulse laser, you need four items to start. Two stakes and two construct heads. Step one is stick the heads together, like this. Up next is place a stake in the ground and attach one of the heads to it. The next part is the important step. You need to make sure that as you attach the other head to a stake, that it creates a slight angle between the two constructs. If you are unsure if it worked, go into auto build and look for the slightest of angles. Now that you've completed this part, remove the stakes and stick a beam emitter on the angled head. Now, to ensure I build it correctly, I'll attach it to my little scooter that I have right here. And we'll go visit some nearby mobs. And yeah, it looks like it's working because the beam is in fact pulsing. Wow. But I can already see an issue here. It's shooting right over the enemy's head most of the time. So I need to go see how we can fix this. I found that originally I had the lasers more positioned towards the top. However, this time, I put the beam emitter more towards the eye area. And for good measure, I added two more. Cause lasers, woo. So let's go test the upgrade out on the Lionel that's near the base. Yeah, I gotta hand it to the device. This entire time of riding around and shooting lasers everywhere, I did not have to recharge my battery once. Even if it does still aim a little high, against the bigger balls, it still lands its shots and had no issue taking down a white lion. So, I guess it's time to go out and really put these lasers to work. Let's go find a Gliok. I got 16 pulse lasers on a hover stone that I plan on launching into the sky. Let's go see how fast it melts this Gliok. All right. Oh, wait, yeah. Uh, yeah, um, this one's just a practice run. <laughs> Outstanding. Okay, slide adjustment on the rocket placement. And this time, for realsies. Yeah, these pulse lasers are melting this thing with no problem. Except for how the ending was like super scuffed. What? Overall, I would say pulse lasers are totally worth checking out if you want to spice up a few of your builds. If you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing.
And as always, I'll catch you next time.